Josh Cast. Josh Cast. It's a new opening theme for Josh Cast. It's a new opening theme for Josh Cast. Sax solo. Jazz. What am I going to play next? Josh Cast. Uh, well, okay, good. Hello, hi, uh, glad to be here. I'm actually happy to be here. Very, uh, surprisingly happy to be here for this, uh, exciting episode of Josh Cast, which I believe, as far as I know, I think there's two listeners at this point. That's where we're at. Um, and now I'm able to, uh, I'm hosting this on Libsyn, which is a great podcasting service that shares it to my Facebook, my Twitter, YouTube, uh, and, uh, and that way I can be not heard on several different platforms. It's phenomenal. Uh, I'm worried about, uh, healthcare. That's what worries me more. The, the huge worry is healthcare and just healthcare costs, uh, and how they just seem to be getting, uh, I, I when I was in my twenties, I was diagnosed with uh, uh, epididymitis, uh, which is an infection of the epididymis, which is the tube that connects connects the testicle to the thing down there. It's the the sperm highway. That's that's it's the sperm four hundred five. That's what it is. And uh, apparently, mine there was a little accident. Uh, and uh, it was infected, and it was causing uh, this minor stinging sensation, uh, which could be a metaphor for my 20s in general. Minor stinging sensation. So now I'm told I have to go in every year and, and, and get my uh, testicles checked. I'm sure this podcast is benefiting the Internet. I really am. Uh, but I have to go in and get it checked every year. Uh, I skipped the last year. Uh, and when I go in to get it checked, uh, this woman, uh, it's the same, been the same woman every year, by the way, uh, does an ultrasound of my testicle, uh, and also does an ultrasound of my prostate, because I also may have, I also have prostatitis, which is an infection of the prostate, uh, and so she will do an ultrasound and check, uh, the testicle and then check the prostate, and I asked her, do you charge per organ that you're scanning? And she said yes. And that I've been obsessed over that. That, it, that I, I don't know, I guess I always assumed that they just charged per session. And then once you're in there, you know, they, they do their scans and you just kind of jar, charge a flat rate. But I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting charged by the testicle. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a, uh, a la carte, if you will, uh, as opposed to a package. Uh, you'd think they'd have a package package. Oh, it's a comedy podcast. Jokes! And I find that uh, really revolting. There's something about uh, knowing that my testicle has a specific fixed cost uh, that is something that I really cannot afford and yet is also something that is not in high demand. <laughs> I can't. That really bothers me. It really does. I don't know. I just think all this... I, 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 I dream of a world, perhaps like the world in Star Trek, where I can get my testicles scanned for free. Uh... Freedom of testicle scanning is the right of all sentient beings. And that's a direct quote from Optimus Prime. Transition, 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 transition. Uh, okay, so... I'm terrified of getting sick. That's the other thing that worries me. Everyone at the where I work is getting sick. Uh, I'm about to go visit my parents, and I don't want to get them sick, because I'm terrified I will get them sick, and that sickness will burgeon, is that the word? Will, will compound, and then, and then I'll be responsible for their deaths. That's, 
that's where I go on a Sunday mentally is that I'm, I'm going to kill everyone uh, inadvertently. I'm like the Mr. Bean of death. Uh, so, uh, that's, you know, what am I, and in terms of what I'm doing to, to not get sick, I, I've cut down to only 19 cookies a day. I think that's a positive step. And, uh, I find that, uh, when I do that, it, I'm only, I only feel, uh, less bad the next day. <laughs> I'm sniffling right now, but I'm pretty sure that's, uh, not sickness. That's this allergies. That's morning, uh, dust because I don't clean my room. So there's dust in the room. So every morning I sneeze, uh, because I'm living the life of a baller, uh, call back to the previous discussion. <laughs> Transition, 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 transition. Uh, now I'm trying to think. How do I how do I wrap this up? What what else is what else is bothering me? What else is bothering me? What's on my mind? What's bo- oh the fly? Yeah, I'm visiting my home and flying. Flying terrifies me. Uh, am I right, ladies? It it really does terrify me. I once, I once, I know a guy. He's a comedian. He's also a uh, flight attendant. And I asked him, "Hey, if I wore a parachute onto a Southwest Airlines flight, would I get stopped?" Uh, and he said, "Probably yes." And I, I, yeah, I used to downhill ski back in the '90s briefly, and no one wore helmets on the ski slopes. And now wearing helmets on the ski slopes is standard operating procedure. And I'm thinking, why why can't we wear parachutes on planes? I would feel so much better if I could wear a parachute on a plane. Uh, maybe they'd be afraid I'd accidentally deploy it in the cabin. I don't care. I would, uh, it'd be, I would feel so much better if I could wear a parachute. But Josh, the vast majority of airline accidents happen either on takeoff or landing. I don't, I still would feel better because, you know, there's that whatever percentage of uh, 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 the plane breaking up, you know, in the middle of the sky. And I just want to be able to know that, oh, I've got this parachute now. And, uh, you know, I may have more of it. I may have a fighting chance, maybe. Uh, Oh, that'd be great. I would, I feel like if I were rich enough, I could wear a parachute on a plane. I really believe that. I think if I think if Donald Trump wanted to wear a parachute on his private jet, no one could stop him. I'm, there must be there must be neurotic billionaires who wear parachutes on their jets. That oh God! Now that that my friends that is living right there. That is living the life. That is living the high life. I'd wear the parachute even when I was in a car. I'd wear a parachute. You never know. Crazy things can happen. I just, you can't not, you can never, uh, you can never not have a parachute. That's, that's my philosophy on life. This is the end of the podcast, the end of the podcast, and the children play and the children sing. This is the end of the podcast.